All right, man. Um, Kate Cunningham is already injured again. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. So um, he's already hurt again. So um, um, it is what it is. Um, we already talked about Killian starting over Jay and Ivy, or you will see that video. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Um, and you know, it's left quad tendonitis. Now, could this just be a formality just to rest him or whatever the situation may be? Who knows? I mean, then you already got two of your two of your five starters out with Dern having an ankle injury already, man. You did NBA, man. Honestly, man, shout out to Mike Curtis. Um, the NBA need to really reform they they strength conditioning programs, man. They need to sit down and talk about that. Uh, in my in my opinion, uh, you know, um, you know what I'm saying. You know, they, they really do. You know, but, but, you know, nonetheless, dude, it's just when I look at the situation, when I look at everything, you lay everything out, um, you know, and, and then what they're going to do, too, because they like him, they're going to pay him. If he can't stay healthy this year, I said, if he don't pay 62 games, you need to move on from him. Now, a lot of people going to take that. Oh, you're a hater. and You're hating. You're hating, man. You just don't like K. I never, I never said I didn't like K. Cunningham. I like him. But availability is the best ability. Let's call it what it is. Availability is the best ability. And if he can't stay healthy, I mean, how can you build a franchise with him or around him? Tell me that. How can you start building a franchise with him or around him? That's all I'm saying. That's all your boy saying. Nothing more, nothing less. And I'm not sure which leg he hurt. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure which leg he hurt. But I, if I'm guessing that that tendonitis is probably in the in the same leg that he fractured. If I'm being a guessing man. If I'm being a guessing man. You know, if I'm being a guessing man, it's in the same leg that he fractured. You know, and like I said, you know, is it considered super duper serious? No. But if it, you know, but if it, it go into where he going to be missing games or whatever. Then it's something that they going to have to they going to sp speak on. You know, and it's already looking bad Two of your five starter during out with an ankle injury already. Like, what the hell is going on, man? And not just, you know, not just, you know, with uh not just with uh the Detroit Pistons young players. You gotta ask what's going on around the league. You gotta ask what's going on around the league. That's what you got to ask yourself. What's going on around the league, bro? All these young players can't stay healthy. And it kind of coincides with people saying they poisoning the food. Some of this food we eating, most of it ain't real. It's poison. But you know what? That's a different conversation. Is it their strength and conditioning? So many, so many questions, you know, to be asked. So, you know, if you Jay and Ivy, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, with them, you know, uh, cementing him on the bench, for whatever reason that is, right? I'm pretty sure in the back of his mind, he probably like, you know what? Um, he's probably like, you know what, bro? If I don't get a trade, you know, none of these ninjas can stay healthy. You know, none of these guys can stay healthy. So I already know 
with these guys not being able to stay healthy, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get my shot because these guys can't stay healthy. Because these guys think can't stay healthy. So if I be patient, you know what I'm saying? Killian can't stay healthy. Ivy, I mean, K can't stay healthy. You know, the numbers, the numbers work in my favor. You know. But um the Pistons may be held, uh coming to a coming, you know, going through another rebuild. The Pistons may be coming to another rebuild. Because quite frankly, they, they kept Troy Weaver around for too long. He keep drafting the same player on top of the same player. Um, you know what I'm saying? So they could be coming to another rebuild. I don't see them coming back anytime soon. And, and this is this is me being honest. I don't see them coming back anytime soon. I don't see it. I don't see it. Their foundation is built on styrofoam and stupidity. They got a guy in charge of running the team that don't know what the fuck he's doing. And I said that time and time again. I seen people out and about them. They question me. Oh, you don't like Troy Weaver, man. The proof's in the pudding, dude. Dude's a fucking idiot. And I said what I said, and I mean what I said. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. It ain't hard to see. And it's like Monty Williams, a fucking idiot too. They might need to get a refund. Do a Mel Tucker and void his contract. <laughs> Set him up. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. I did. Yeah, I said it. But uh I said it. But uh but nonetheless, hopefully get better. But I don't I don't really see nothing going on in Detroit this season that's gonna be positive involving the Pistons. You know, I see another another number five pick in the in the future. I see another number, another number five pick. So uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Uh, Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, and PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.